Hello everyone and welcome back. Thank you for joining in again. This is Laura with Quilted Chicken. We are going through our Moda Block heads. We're on bonus block number six right now. This is just a collaboration from the Moda Designers. It's kind of like a courthouse step. We've got a nine patch in the center and then uh, it just sort of radiates out from there. Um, they don't have us do any kind of strip piecing on this. Um, I'm not going to try to do the math to figure that out. Um, if you really wanted to, you could, but um, it would be just as easy to follow the directions and we'll cut our inch and a half strips. And then for our mini block, this strips are one inch wide. Yep, one inch and then one and a half on the large. We'll get our fabrics picked out in just a second, but first, check it out. The, if, if you saw our last video, we also had this hanging up in the background. I didn't feel like changing it out. We do have their Christmas um, panel kit that we finished up that is really pretty. Um, they've got their Christmas panel, uh, Stephanie Slowinski, uh, all of her hymnal look, uh, artistry work. Um, we finished that up. I do have to put the binding on this one. We do have the binding on our Christmas one, but I just love this fun transitioning from uh transitioning into fall because that's kind of that's exactly where we're at right now i've got my little plant still on the table this is a um this is one day that we're going to try to get as many blocks done as we can it's a it's a friday so that's kind of our finish up the week get the important stuff done uh so that saturday we can do kind of fun stuff we'll see well i say fun it'll probably be a binding it'll be something that's not directly store slash customer related. But today we're getting our videos done. Uh, I have my rhododendron, no, philodendron from Trader Joe's with me still. Look, I almost match. This one was a little bit darker. Uh, the others that were there were really green, so it was fun. I like, I like that color. I like it because it's just a little bit different. But uh, we're going to break out our fabrics uh, and see what we can do for our block. So I love plants. I'm not a, I don't, I'm not fantastic at keeping them alive, especially some of the house plants. But it's difficult because every time I go, I want to try something different. Uh, I do best with plants that do not need any sort of care, that need very little water, that can handle being left alone and forgotten about and then I try to make up and over care for them which is also causes problems because then they just drown and die anyways but I found a few things that I've got out on the porch uh, we've got a we've got a fairly decent sized covered porch um, and I've got some things that sit out there that have survived that are looking good probably could look better um, I don't, with, oh, with it getting cool, I probably need to bring them in too and find them a nice spot. But it's difficult because it's fun. It's like having a, having a, having a little something you can talk to and enjoy. So for our last two blocks, we uh, and I've already put them up on the wall. We had our, um, we went more grays and blacks. So I'm still kind of stuck in that mode. Trying to scroll through and see something that would be a fun, kind of a focal point for our squares. On the pattern, it does have where you can um, alternate this outside color and keep this color a darker. They've got it where you can do a lighter color here and have like kind of a cross in the center. I like the, the large X here, so we're going to do a solid, we're going to do the same color across here and then we'll find something to alternate all of those blocks there. It's hard to talk and use my brain for colors at the same time. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cut it short and just gonna get right into picking the fabrics. So there are three strips here. I would like to have them kind of graduate up and out. And then for our center, it kind of seems like the next step into it. I love this polka dot, but I'm afraid with the cutting the size that the dots are gonna be kind of off. And then this polka dot is too similar, especially if we use this. Mm -hmm. 
that is too similar in color to be to really um, pull out that center nine patch. And I really don't, uh, I don't like that gray anyways. <clears throat> That's not bad. Oh wait, no, I already decided that this was gonna be our center. So these two will be our nine patch and then it will graduate out from there. On the picture, it looks like it alternates. Nope. On the main picture, each of the four um, concentric borders are the same fabric. You can also, on this one, it, had, it, it alternates back and forth, but because I kind of want that graduating color, we're gonna do the same. So here are our pieces. 4A, which is the dark um, square that goes um, from each corner of the block, we need 17 squares at inch and a half, by inch and a half. Our E squares that finish out the nine patch in the center, we need four squares at inch and a half by inch and a half. The next uh, step out border uh, we're doing in this fun paisley print uh, is B and you need um, four inch and a half by three and a half. Um, the next step is C and we need four inch and a half by five and a half and then inch and a half by seven and a half for D will finish out our block. So we're going to lay it out. Um, I did make sure that as I cut um, our woven, number one, I did uh, cut my inch and a half strip and then I did uh, spray starch it a little bit just to help uh, firm that up to keep it um, nice and crisp while we were trying to sew this together with our, with our cottons. So having the very, having the step out color like this reminds me of the, I mentioned it last time, the Allison Glass Sew Along um, that I did. Oh, you know what? Maybe I didn't. I may not have mentioned it because I thought, Laura, don't mix Moda and Andover. Um, but Allison Glass and uh, Giuseppe Juicy Juice are having a Sew Along Quilt Along. It's their mini quilt along. This is the second, uh, oh, it might be the third one that they've done. Um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, there's our middle. Um, and I debated about signing up because, for, I mean, the mere fact of already doing the Moda blocks. And I saw all the cute stuff. I did go in online and uh, signed up for that. So their blocks have, are kind of great gradient color and that's what those remind me of. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. It has actually started. They have a little bit more give and take on the when the deadlines are for stuff, but they also have a, um, everyone gets, it is a $10 entry fee, but then everybody gets a participation pin. Um, there's some fun little contests online. And if you finish all the blocks, there are 12 mini blocks and you also get uh, an enamel finisher's pin. So I thought that was kind of a fun incentive, something to get, kind of keep you, keep you intrigued, keep you going. So we'll see how that does. The layout on this is pretty easy. I did not um, try and fussy cut this last outer strip. It does have a very distinct pattern um, I think that it's going to be fine. If it gets together and I don't like it, we could always go back and change it to just the outer border. Um, we're going to go ahead and start. These will be done secondary. What we'll do, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to line up all of these little squares and get as much put together as possible on the first step. We're going to go ahead and stitch these at first. Okay. 
Sometimes there's just something too fun and cute and adorable about a cute little line match. So from here, we'll do our sides. And then we'll do the tops, uh, sides, top and bottom, sides, top and bottom, sides, top and bottom. So easy and so fantastic. Look at that. I like it. I like that the center has got the more concentrated color. I, st I still like having the dark um, go across like that way. So we'll probably do our mini block that way as well. I'm gonna have to pull more fabrics out. I didn't really see anything else. Of course, I didn't dig very deep. Um, that really jumped out at me for our small block. I'm going to move the polka dots because we just did the polka dots. Now I know that this is kind of a specific print, but because we're cutting such a small piece, I think that it might kind of read, um, it might read a little more, it might read better. This one we're going to have D and B be the same color, and then C uh, will be this beige. Um, e, uh, we're going to do this. That's the kind of a. It's going to bring a little bit of gray in. I'll have to look when we cut it. Or should no, I don't like the contrast. Wait. Oh, what about that? Because this is these are all the same prints. We've just got the gray. We've got the black and tan, and then the, the beige. This will be um, our E in the center. And then uh, we're going to do our cross hatch in this white and really, really focus on that part. All right, so the cutting for the four and a half inch block. We have 17 uh, of the A piece. These are one by one squares. We've got four of the E, again, one by one inch. Uh, on our borders, we're doing the dark, the light, the dark. So we've got four that are one inch by two inch, four one inch by three inch, and four one inch by four inch. When I cut my background that is a tonal white, I did make sure to go ahead and flip all of my pieces right side up so that when I go to lay it out, I'm not trying to flip and look and check and figure out where it, where it belongs. So I'm pretty pleased with how it comes together. It's not, it's not real bad. There's not a ton of, you've got to match your points on the corners where, where these white pieces meet up. But other than that, um, there's, it's, it's all pretty big pieces. Well, and then the center as well. But it's not like the entire block has got 50,000 corners to match up, so. It should come together pretty easily, just like our other one. So we'll finish getting it laid out and see what we've got. It is a little hard to tell because the pieces are so small. Um, what has, you can see the gaps between everything. Uh, so it's hard to tell kind of what it's going to look like right now, but I'm hoping it'll be good. Uh, just like last time, we're going to go ahead and put our little cornerstone uh, accent pieces. We're going to flip them right, flip them right sides together, stitch all of our uh, the secondary attachments at once.
That's it. There's our mini. Oh, oh, it looks so cute. It looks different looking at it in person and looking at it on the camera. I love it. I love it. So that was our bonus block, Step To It, by just a, a collection of the Moda designers. <laughs> Guys, how fun would it be to work at Moda? And just even if you were just in the warehouse and filling orders or somebody comes into your office one day and says, hey, can you sit down and write a block for our blockheads? That'd be so fun. This was it. Step To It. This one we did the white outer centers um, and then the, the, the dark all the way across from corner to corner. Um, and then on this one we stepped out, um, we had the same fabric here and then a different fabric in the center there. So it really frames that one out. You know, I don't have a ton of, of pointers on this one. Just make sure that you've got your quarter inch right, especially on the small one because these pieces finish up at half an inch when they're done. Um, if you do, well, and you have to do the, the center nine patch first, you'll very quickly be able to tell if your next piece fits on that or if you need to adjust something in your sewing. So that's it. Um, next time, oh, next time block, uh, number 13 by Debbie Maddie. She's got some fun. She does batiks and like water painted color, um, fabrics, um, I'll have to get online and look at how some of her, because I'm sure she did these in her fabrics. I'll have to see how this one turned out. We'll see you next time. Bye. Let's work. So, stu uh, tune <laughs> stay tuned, students, and whatever. <laughs>